<laughs> waved at her and she doesn't do it. <laughs> she edges away. Ah, he makes me uncomfortable. Ah. What's up guys? On the way to work and if you saw my Instagram yesterday, I quickly yelled about something and that's customers. I work retail for both my jobs. I work retail for pretty much almost all my jobs. People never cease to amaze me with their stupidity. I, I can't dumb it. I can't dumb myself down enough to explain it. People are just so self-centered and just dumb. Uh, like I had a customer come in to job number one today to get some death fluid. And that's diesel exhaust fluid for people who are just not following along. And he goes and grabs that he already knows where it is. I'm trying to figure out this piece of paperwork before I leave because I had to go do a delivery. Didn't have any enough drivers today. Uh, I'm just asking him a question. This guy just walks up to the counter. As I'm asking him this question, they pretty much get the answer I'm looking for. I'm looking for the keys for the truck, and the guys like, just give me a death stare because I'm not ringing them out at the very second. So as I come back to bring him out, I tell him the total and he tosses a bill across the table at me. I'm like, ah, oh, here we go. And then he knocks over a little bucket. It's like that, that impulse stuff, the, the items in front of checkout counters, little shit. He knocks a bucket of uh, razors or something. I forgot what it was. I can hear it hit the ground, just kind of looks at it, looks up at me and just keeps staring at me. I'm like, wow, you're not going to kneel down and pick that up out of common courtesy? I, I wanted to bit slap him with his change. I just don't understand people. It happens all the time. Like when I was yelling about people not putting shit back. I just need to say something on behalf of people who work retail everywhere. If you're a customer and you grab something off the shelf and you don't put it back, if you don't want it, you just leave it somewhere on the floor on another display. It's got one thing to say. <clears throat> put it back! Put it back where you found it! You were just there! What the fuck is the matter with you? Heck, it happens so much and then I forgot who, I think it was Noxious. Noxious Moto pointed out uh, something I forgot, people picking shit off the shelf. And looking through the box and then setting the box down after they're done looking through it and then grab a fresh one to buy. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're a special kind of stupid, ain't ya? You were the first person to originally open that box. You don't make any sense. You self-centered, dumbass motherfucker. And it's just, I think it's one, six, nearly seven years of retail and air. It never ceases to amaze me. Almost every month there's a new level of just stupidity. Oh, the people that tell me how to do my job. That's the fun one too. I had some bitch call me on the phone one time asking me my opinion on whether or not she needs resistor spark plugs. At I mean, yes, you need resistor spark plugs. Most cars loaded down with electronics. What kind of car is it? I asked her, and she's like, she said, uh, it was like a newer truck, a Ford truck, or a Chevy truck, and then I said, yes, and she said, what is, exactly does resistor do? I'm like, well, it eliminates electromagnetic, I think it was electromagnetic disturbance generated by the spark plugs that would interfere with your electronics. 
She's like, why do I need them? I'm like, oh my God, this chick reminds me of the other woman that called me when the power was out, asking me if her car will still fucking start. I mean, God, you asked my opinion, shut the fuck up and listen. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Continuing where I left off earlier, there's even more of this awesome palaver at work. Somebody knocked a tub over into a display of chemicals, small chemicals, no big deal. And then just left it there. There's gloves lining the ground that people didn't bother to hook back up. Or they lifted, or the hook, you know, fell off the gloves and they just didn't bother to take the uh, couple seconds to clip it back on. Ah, it sucks. Why are people so lazy and self-centered? It's sad. And for those that don't know, Forensics Ninja had a cone find its way up into her bike. <laughs> I think it was Arson Wright's fault. Always fucking throwing them cones. But uh, it snapped her freaking rear set on the right side, her brake rear set. And she fractured a toe, and I'm sorry to hear about that, my dear. Hope you feel better. Sucks when shit like that happens, especially when it's almost out of your realm of control. I had, uh, when I had my Mustang a long time ago, my Cobra, uh, I had a, I don't know what it was, it was late at night, and I was on the freeway, and I just see sparks in like a circular motion on the freeway, and I'm like, what the hell is that? It was a freaking, it was a freaking metal lawn chair had fallen off somebody's car or truck, and was spinning around the freeway, probably got hit by somebody else. So that sucked. Luckily I was able to avoid it, there was nobody around me at night. So sorry to hear that again, Miss Forensics Ninja. You know what, I got a question. If you work any form of customer service, or especially retail, what was your most memorable experience, albeit negative. Like, who was the biggest asshole of a customer? Or like, what was the most effed up thing that happened in the store that the customer kind of, you know, just blew off, didn't care about? Before we finish, let's rephrase the question. What was your most memorable, negative, memorable experience when working customer service and what have you seen that has shaken your belief in humanity until next time ladies and gents please like comment subscribe and I will see you all later He was angry.